to tell us something, Megan. Harry's girlfriend wears a 221 pounds shirt named the husband for their first public engagement together as they flirt and hold hands at the Invitos Games in Toronto. Hand in hand, Prince Harry proudly brought his girlfriend Meghan Markle to a highly public tennis match today, their first official appearance together as a couple. And the suit star, 36, made an intriguing outfit choice sporting the A221 pounds $300 white shirt named The Husband, designed by her friend Miss Hall Nanu whose former spouse went to Eton with William and Harry, along with sunglasses and ripped blue jeans. Their appearance is the surest sign yet that an engagement is on the cards for the couple, and within hours of the couple stepping out together Bookie's lad broke suspended betting on an engagement announcement. The lovebirds arrived, fingers entwined, to the Invitos Games Emil final in full view of members of the public and photographers. The couple sat at the side of the court together whispering and laughing as well as cheering on the players from Australia and New Zealand in full view of members of the public and photographers. Megan looked cool despite the 30-degree heat, sporting shades by Finlay & Co., a range loved by Pitta Middleton and Zara Tindall, while proud as Punch Harry was in an Invitos branded shirt and sunglasses too and the actress proved that she ready to fit seamlessly into the royal fold by practicing her first royal handshake as she greeted children who were seated nearby. While Meghan attended the Invitos opening ceremony on Saturday, she sat several feet away from her royal beau who was positioned in the VIP area with U.S. First Lady Melania Trump and the couple took care not to be pictured together. This afternoon, word that the couple were attending together swept the arena when the prince's private secretary, Elaine Fox, was seen busily preparing to seats and looking agitated. The couple swept in at 1.55 p.m. local time amid minimal fanfare and took their seats quietly. Olivia Cornell, 16, from Christchurch, New Zealand, gave the couple the New Zealand pin as a gift as she cheered on her stepdad Glenn Barnes sat behind the pair. The teenager said she'd overheard Harry explaining the Invitos tennis rules, which differ to sports usual laws, to Meghan as they clapped on the sidelines. Olivia, a huge Suits fan, said, it was amazing, really amazing. They were watching the game and cheering on my stepdad. They kept laughing because the contestants know each other so there was banter between them. They were laughing at that. The rules are different to normal tennis as well so they were talking about that. Harry was explaining it to her. They were absolutely lovely. They asked me if I enjoyed the game and who I was cheering on. We knew he was coming. We got told about but we didn't know about Megan. It was amazing because I'm a huge Suits fan. I gave them the pin, it was a I am Kiwi and one of the rugby ball. Harry took them because Megan had her hands full so he took it for them. Today's outing may have been a big moment for Megan as she appeared publicly with her royal boyfriend for the first time, but the actress looked completely at ease and gave no hint of nerves. Gentlemanly Harry was clearly eager to make sure the occasion went smoothly placing a protective arm on his girlfriend's back as he guided her to her seat. Earlier the royal gave a moving speech in which he lauded servicemen and women as role models for society. Speaking at the Canadian Institute for Military and Veterans Mental Research CIMVHR conference in Toronto, the Queen's grandson, who himself was in the army for 10 years and undertook two tours of duty to Afghanistan, praised the sense of respect, discipline and leadership of those who wear a uniform and serve their country. He said, now I have long believed that individuals who wear the uniform are role models for society. Their families understand the true meaning of teamwork, respect, discipline and leadership. And in the world where this is often lacking, I bet the values by which service families live their lives and the example they set for others through these Invitos games, is having a profound effect on their communities and far beyond. Wouldn't it be great if we could prove that too? The fifth in line to the throne is currently in Toronto for the third in Vito's Games, the Paralympic-style event he founded for injured military personnel in 2014. This year is the biggest event yet with some 550 competitors from 17 nations taking part in 12 adaptive spots, such as swimming, athletics and tennis. The Invitos Games Toronto 2017 Organizing Committee has funded the research study by Dalhousie University examining the importance of a role of adaptive sport in the rehabilitation of wounded, injured and sick military personnel and their families. This has involved a comprehensive evaluation of the competitors competing in Toronto. Harry was attending the opening session of the conference and leaning more about those findings. 
In his speech to the conference he said, I am sure it will come as no surprise to anyone in this room that I am hugely passionate about the end of those games. I am passionate about a role which sport can play in the recovery of body and mind. I am passionate about the men and women of our armed forces who have served their countries. And, I am passionate in my support and admiration for the families of those men and women, because they too have served. The Prince will later make appearances at a number of the sporting events being held across the city. His girlfriend Meghan joined Harry for the first time at an official event on Saturday, while he's reportedly been to visit her on the set of her legal drama suits. But the Royal, 33 was flying solo today and looked relaxed in a grey suit jacket, open neck shirt and his trademark navy chinos as he was welcomed to the event. Every year CIMVHR invites thought leaders from the armed forces, reservists, military families and veterans organizations to present new research, exchange ideas and share insight. This year's event is being held in conjunction with Harry's and Ditto's Games, which was first held in London in 2014. Among the performers at the opening ceremony at the Air Canada Centre on Saturday were English soprano Laura Wright, the tenor and Canadian singer-songwriter Alessia Carrot. Meghan was sat just a few feet away from the Queen's grandson, who was accompanied by U.S. First Lady Melania Trump. The start was escorted by her close friend Marcus Sanderson, who introduced her to Prince Harry last year. Her low-key presence marks the first time she has joined the Royal for an official event and will intensify speculation that an engagement announcement is imminent. Harry, seated a quarter of a stadium away, occupied a VIP box alongside Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, U.S. First Lady Melania Trump and Ukraine's President Poroshenko. Because they are not engaged, Royal Protocol dictates that Harry and Meghan cannot sit next to one another at official events. The distance. 18 seats and four rows, did nothing to dampen the actress's excitement or pride. She beamed as Harry gave an inspiring and humble speech on stage during which he told the 550 athletes gathered, you are all winners. You are in vitos. During the eight-day games, Harry will visit training sessions and watch participants competing in all 12 sports, including athletics, cycling and wheelchair basketball. The prince also visited a mental health and addiction teaching hospital on Saturday and during the rest of his stay will hand out Duke of Edinburgh International Gold Awards to young Canadians and host a reception for the Invitos Games Foundation. The high-profile closing ceremony on September 30 will feature performances by Bruce Springsteen, Brian Adams and Kelly Clarkson.